the first one, the, it's 95 years ago exactly today, it was the miracle of the sun in Fatima. And some of you, you know the, the messages of Fatima already appeared to three little shepherds and to warn them about many things that will happen in the world and in the church. And uh, to prove that there's uh, messages were true, God allowed the sun to dance in the sky in front of 70,000 people. It was 95 years ago exactly today. Also, uh, today is another anniversary, but they are linked also because already was warning against uh, many influences of the world that will enter into the Catholic Church to, uh, uh, to dissolve the, the good taste of the Catholic Church, to uh, put up the lights that, we have to, that should enlighten all the souls. And this bad adversary is, uh, it was 50 years ago exactly, Exactly today is the 50th anniversary of the, the, the revolutionary act that happened during the Council Vatican II. But the Council Vatican II started the 11th of October uh, 1962. Two days after, some cardinals took the power and uh, destroyed all the work that we had done during three years for this council and just oblige everybody to follow their steps. Also, these all these things are linked because what is touched, what has been touched, and it was already the warning of our blessed lady, it was a, a, a warning that, that came because today we are in October and it's, all, it's also the, the month of the Holy Angels. And you know that Leo the 13th wanted the, 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 the mass to be protected by a special exorcism at the end of the mass. They are the prayers that we pray after the mass, especially the prayer of St. Michael the Archangel to protect the liturgy. And we know the, all the message of Fatima is about this uh, great disaster that happened in the church and the loss of the faith, but also the revolution of the church. The ultimate point they wanted to touch is the heart of the church, the life of the church, and that is the mass. And this is what we celebrate now. And for some of you, it's something very new. But the mass is what we have the most precious in this world. Because this is the presence, the truest presence of God in this world, is the real presence of God, of all of Jesus Christ, here today. What happened during the mass? Because this is very important. In fact, the Mass is exactly the same, exactly the same as the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. The only difference is it doesn't appear the same. But the reality is exactly the same. You have the cross, and that is the altar. You have the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's when the priest consecrates the host and the chalice, then you have the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. is there. is there also through the priest. is there as victim and priest. And the same way, as a sacramental way. You have the historical way. The history shows us our Lord Jesus Christ crucified on the cross and dying for us. And you have the sacramental way. It's the cross is the altar. You have the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. And there is the same sacrifice with the priest and the victim. And the priest and the victim is as on the cross, the same person our, our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross, he offers himself his life. He is the victim on the cross and he is also the priest on the cross. And this is the most precious thing we have. Why? Because this is the highest thing we can offer on earth. And there are many purposes why we have to offer our Lord Jesus Christ. 
why we have to offer the crucifixion of all of his rights, why we have to offer the mass every day. Why? Because of God. Because of God. Because of God who made us. We owe God a lot. And as we owe God a lot, we have to adore Him, to worship Him. This is the most important. We have to show God that God is. We have, we have to show ourselves, many people, that God is God. God is God. And this is why we worship God. This is why we adore God. That's, this is why we kneel down. This is why all this genuflection. This is why all the respect that the priest is showing during the Mass. We have also to offer this sacrifice. And in fact, we offer God to God. We cannot offer the more, most precious thing. We offer the sacrifice of God to God. And that we can do every day in the Mass. The second reason is to purify our hearts. Because we are bad. We are bad people. After original sin, there is a bad tendency in the heart of man to do ill things. Every, every, every one of us, we know that. We are tempted to do so many ill things every day. The first one, not to wake up. <laughs> yes. This is the first temptation of the day. Oh, the clock. <laughs> and you don't wake up. And this sacrifice, the first one you should offer to God, you don't do it. And it's laziness. And this is a fall. And this is bad. And it's, it's, it's bad to stop the day like that. If you just obey the clock, you obey God, and you're joyful for your whole day. And we have, we have to ask God forgiveness for all these ill things that we do every day. You see, a saint, and this is in the Old Testament, a saint, a, a saint sinned seven times a day. How, we are not saints. How many times? And there are many ways to sin. When you don't pray, you sin. You have to do your prayers every day. This is the second reason why we have to offer to all of Jesus Christ with God to his Father in a sacrifice. We offer the cross in the mass because it's exactly the same thing. The cross is in the history 2,000 years ago. The mass is now, but it's the same reality. Same, exactly the same reality. We make it present today through the sacrament of the mass. This, for the second reason, propitiation, to make us pleasant to God. You see, when you're not pleasant to God, it's because you don't will, do the will of God, because you disobey the commandments of God, because you are out of the plan of God, then you sin. And it happens so many times that people are sinning, and they have to ask for forgiveness. And this is the second reason why we uh, offer the sacrifice to God to clean our souls, to clean our souls. And the, all the power of the confession is coming through the Mass, through the cross. All the powers of all the sacraments are, are, is coming from the Mass, from the sacrifice. When you receive absolution for your sins during confession, this power comes from the Mass. When a baby is baptized and the original sin is removed, and you receive the presence of God and this uh, eternal mark and the speaks because of the Mass. Like, eh, all the sacraments are coming from the Mass. And always for this purification of our heart also, and to put the presence of God. Also, there is another reason why we, we uh, offer the sacrifice to God. We have to thank him for the many uh, good that we receive. Here there are, we have a good number of children. And uh, even if, if the life if is the life is not happy every day, you have to thank God for who you are, for your parents, for your education, 
for the food you receive every day, for being alive, for being uh, able to play so many good plays with your friends, for having good friends. All these goods, they, they, they are not coming by chance. And you, you must thank God for that, to have a good day. <laughs> yes, it's not raining this afternoon and you go and play. Thank you, God. But many people, they just forget to say thank you. And this is bad education most of the time. It starts like that, when the, t the children are not taught to, to say thank you to their parents. You have children, they never say thank you to their parents. They owe everything to their parents. First, their life, everything, education, the food, and whatever. whatever. And for God, it's much higher than your parents. Your parents, they can die, and you will be perhaps placed in another family, and you will continue to live. God won't die, and he will always take care of you. And you have to thank him every day of your life for the goods you receive. But sometimes the good we receive, uh, we could expect more. <laughs> we could expect more. Then we offer the sacrifice also for another reason, a fourth reason. When, in, when we need some, uh, to ask something to God. And you know that we have, we have the Our Father with the seven uh, demands in the Our Father. Everything is there. What you have to ask to God is in the Our Father. It's the, the, the most important prayer. This is the prayer that all of Israel himself taught us. It's very important to, uh, to understand why we offer this sacrifice to God. And you understand that a life without sacrifice is not a life. And certainly it's the highest challenge today for a Catholic. The highest challenge today for a Catholic is to keep the spirit of the Mass, the spirit of sacrifice, this generosity of the soul, and this joy and happiness of the soul. Somebody generous is always happy. <coughs> generous comes from the Latin generosus. It means of a noble race. Catholic people are of a noble race. Why? Because they are the children of God. They are the children of God the Father. We are of a noble race, but we have to show that we are from this race, you see. And this is the generosity. This is exactly the generosity. This is this. Uh, and this generosity, you cannot have it. You cannot uh, uh, grow in this generosity without practicing sacrifices, without following the steps of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why this Mass is so precious. And that's why we should not touch the Mass like that. This Mass, as it is, is 1,700 years old. And at the very heart of the Mass is our Lord Jesus Christ and the Apostles, who made it exactly like that. We don't play with such a sacred monument. That's why, uh, perhaps you don't understand everything, but what you understand with this mass is that it is sacred. It's a great mystery, because it's the highest mystery on earth. You won't find the highest mystery on earth than the mass. It's the most precious gift we have on earth. And this is what you can offer. And you can offer it every day in your life through your own sacrifices. Because your own sacrifices, have, they have no value if you don't link them with the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't unite them in the Mass. You know this little drop that the priest will put in the chalice with the, with the wine? This little drop represents all your sacrifices. They are united with the, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your own blood, your own sweat, your own worries are just sunk in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are one with Him. In some ways, you are also our Lord Jesus Christ through your sacrifices. 
this is the, the proper way to be a Catholic, a true Christian. Huh? With, uh, Mr. Harrison spoke to you about this name of Christian, this name of Catholic. If you are called a Christian, you have to follow the step, the steps of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's not an easy way, but it's always, always a noble and happy and joyful way. You, you won't, you will never be ashamed of yourself following this way you will find the true happiness in this way. You will be somebody in this way. That's so why it's very important to, uh, to, to enter deeper in this knowledge of the Mass. What is the Mass? I told you the main things, but try to remember that during the Mass, you have a priest, you have a victim, when you have a priest and a victim, it means that you have a sacrifice. Sacrifice. And the purpose of this sacrifice, the, the, the goal of this sacrifice is first, and this is exactly, we started like that, is the glorification of God, the worship of God. And the, sal the second purpose is the salvation, salvation of souls. This is exactly what the, the summary of what is the sacrifice? Why we offer sacrifices? For the glory of God, the, the, to glorify God, and the salvation of men. Salvation of men comes from first asking forgiveness for our sins. Second, thanking God for whatever he gave us. And third, asking him what we need today. Let us pray today, especially our blessed lady. She, she's, the, she's the one who knows really what is the, the sacrifice. She offered herself as some for the sacrifice when he was already a very little teeny baby. When she offered our Lord Jesus Christ at the temple on the day of the presentation. On that day, on that day, our lady knew what will happen with her baby, her divine baby. And she was offering to the temple, she knew that this baby one day will be crucified, will be offered our sins. That's why if you want to, to know deeper about the Mass first, certainly you study your catechism. You go to your catechism, try to know better who is our Lord Jesus Christ, why our Lord Jesus Christ came on earth, and ask Our Lady if you have some doubts, some difficult things to understand, you just pray Our Lady and she will help you, she will enlighten your intelligence in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Dominus Abyss.
Ce dice un credit de a sagriat astea la timp să și ai la ține ca cele. Când primul să nasc, ca să ce sunt amintiu de a se pleca, sunt pe și când vezi ce ne dice. Sântul să sântul să sântul, dar nu este o sală, nu este o șerie de la gălia tu o sală ai necele. Vrei tu să vin în tine mine de aici, o sală ai necele.
Colonia Secura Secura. Colonia Specialty Santa Vigusman. At the Divina Institution of Formatio Linguistic. Under Nostia Fia, Sinchevi Santi de Cetra Mertur. Arvenia de Yutum, Shavanta Sua Secutin Shero et Inter. Anna Nostin Catibian and Dalevi Sevi. Illimite Nobis Evita Nostra Secret Nasi Nitimus de Vita Vibus Nostris. At the Nas in the Cas in Tentacio. Sekula Thank you. 